starts now. Welcome to ABC 4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us on this Thursday night. Tonight, one officer released from the hospital, another still fighting for recovery. This is the investigation continues into that deadly shootout in Taylorsville last night. The barrage of bullets sounding panic in the air in that area. Two officers struck the suspect, shot and killed. Now we're learning that that suspect had a violent criminal history that stretched back years with numerous felony convictions just last year. ABC 4's Nick McGurk looking into why that suspect was on probation. This is the aftermath of last night's shooting. You can see a bullet hole here in the window. This is a Little Caesars. Obviously, a lot of people, a busy intersection around here. And then you've got this boarded up window as well. The suspect here involved in this deadly shooting with all this crossfire had a violent criminal history. And a lot of people are asking tonight, why wasn't he behind bars? A deadly shooting in this 7-Eleven parking lot, wedged between a gas station, a restaurant, and a busy intersection. As soon as I saw the door open, I knew something was going to go on. Police trying to get suspect and I Joker to exit the vehicle, but when he did, they say he shot at two officers, and then police shot back. Gunpowder, you could smell it right after. It was honestly just like really crazy, it happened really fast. Joker, hit by police gunfire had in fact been hit by a police bullet before. <laughs> this video shows a teenager back in 2017. Joker was then speeding from police, crashed his car, and that's when a Cottonwood Heights police officer shot him. That shooting would later be ruled justified. For the units to 1014, we have an officer down 1033, 4110 South and Redford Road. Which brings us to last night and this last year. In 2021, Joker had pleaded to three different felonies, aggravated robbery, aggravated assault, discharge of a firearm. We went to the district attorney, Sim Gill, to talk about this, and he says the cases had been wrapped into one sentencing before a judge called a global disposition. We did our part. We, uh, we saw somebody who we thought uh, raised the issues of violence. Uh, we prosecuted him, we convicted him, and we asked for a uh, prison because uh, uh, out of concern of public safety. Gill says his office argued for prison time, adult probation and parole, which is a division within the Utah Department of Corrections. They submitted what's called a pre-sentence report, and that report recommended probation for Joker. Ultimately, the judge recommended probation. He was uh, threatening like to shoot, and he eventually did. Joker involved in yet another violent encounter, leaving witnesses wondering if this could have been avoided. Scary. Scary, definitely. Tonight we're learning those two officers shot last night. The West Valley City officer is in the hospital in stable condition, continues to recover. Some good news as well. Unified Police, their officer has been released from the hospital, is expected to fully recover. In Taylorsville tonight, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. All right, our thanks to you, Nick. Well, the investigation of the shooting still far from over. ABC4 News is there for you with the latest information on this story and situation, both on air and always online at abc4.com.